rock and learn. Let's play a game with fractions. First, look at the object. Count the total number of parts. That'll be the denominator. Then, count the parts that are a color other than black, white, or gray. And that'll be the numerator. Try to say the fraction out loud before we do. Ready? Five sixths of the rectangle is in color. That's right. Let's look at another one. Four sevenths of the rectangle is in color. Eight tenths of the square is in color. Seven eighths of the square is in color. One half of the arrow is in color. Two thirds of the semicircle is in color. Fifths of the star is in color. Six ninths of the cupcakes are in color and even look good enough to eat. <laughs> I'd like a chocolate one. Nine twelfths of these eggs have been colored. We'll finish dyeing the rest of them later. But look, for now, three twelfths are not dyed. Hey, three fourths of these TVs have us in color. It's been a while since I've seen a black and white TV. Now let's move on to the bonus round. These are tricky. Hey, this hexagon isn't divided into congruent parts. We can't fool you, Dennis. But if we rearrange the lines like this and color in five like this, then five sixths of the hexagon is in color. Always remember that an object has to be divided into congruent parts in order to use fractions to talk about it. I remember. Congruent means the parts have to be the same size and shape. This is kind of tricky. All of these gummy bears are in color. So I'm going to say 12 twelfths are in color. Good job, Dennis. Or you can say one whole set is in color. If the numerator and the denominator are the same number, that's the same thing as describing one whole object or set. So 12 twelfths equal one. Yeah.